it's always a tough night when we have to get together and uh, film these episodes. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So this opens up an entire debate and conversation right now that I think we're going to have to have. I think the Beer Bracket crew is going to have to dive deep into which is better. Or which do we like more? Let's keep it a little bit more neutral in that sense. Do we like it better in a bottle? Do we like it better in a can? We already kind of talked about how in the can is how it's meant to be, how the original recipe should turn out, right? But which one is better? Some people like it in a bottle, some people like it in a can. To start off with, maybe we should pour them out, have a little taste test, give our impressions. I think we are up to this task. For the good of our people and viewers, uh, we're you know sacrificing ourselves tasting all those beers. It's always a tough night when we have to get together and uh, film these episodes. It's a rough sacrifice that we're going to make. Such a chore. <laughs> Such a chore. All right, I have got my bottle version and watch. There we go. Ever since we talked about not angling the glass too much when we pour to get the optimal beer experience, I'm always trying to be a pouring snob and not angle it as much as I can. Uh, but it's hard, man. <laughs> Sometimes that head creeps up on you. All right, and we have it in the bottle. Oh yeah. <laughs> so right off the bat, that skunkiness, when you've been drinking it out of a can for a little while, um, like we have, and then you switch right over to the bottle version, that skunkiness is strong. Like that smells like it just came out of a skunk's butt like five seconds ago. That is potent. Oh yeah, it, it's completely different, man. <laughs> so imagine if, you, you guys have probably already seen our review episode already on Heineken. If you haven't, click the link in the bio, check it out. The reason why we reviewed Heineken in a can and not in a bottle was because in a bottle it brings all these extra elements to it. The aroma is completely different. The beer is effectively changed from sitting in the green glass bottle for as long as it does. So we think that in a can or on draft, it's kind of the pure Heineken experience. In a bottle, it's, it's a completely different beer, isn't it? Wow. It's... <laughs> That, that's quite surprising. So it, it's not dramatically different on the on the palate, I would say, other than on the finish. But the aroma is it's really what struck me a lot. Well, you're absolutely right. The aroma and the finish is where it's kind of completely different. We talked about how out of a can, it had kind of a very sort of velvety, silky finish. I find that's emphasized a little bit more on the bottom. For me, it feels a little even more silky it lingers, that silkiness lingers on your tongue just a little bit longer uh, than it does in the can. I always found Heineken in the can is like much more refined. It's much crisper, it's much cleaner, but it's less flavorful at the same time. I find it's more flavorful out of a bottle. The taste elements are a lot stronger. Maybe that's because the aroma is stronger. I think one of the elements I get from the bottle that uh, I don't get from the can, uh, yes, to the finish, is slightly different. That bitterness is more pungent, which I have to say, I personally kind of like. Uh, it, it almost like uh, brings out a little bit more of a punch there in the end. Uh, one day maybe we can do a blind test and see if we can, you know, we can tell the difference. That would also be fun. Uh, do you think, I think I would be able to spot that in a second. I think I would smell that skunk butt instantly and I would just know what it was. But also like, I think, the finish is noticeable, but I think the taste difference is slightly, it's noticeable enough for me, personally. I think that skunkiness, the bitterness that you referred to it as, is, is present a lot more in the bottle version than in the can version. And it adds something to me. As the reason, if you go back and watch our review, Heineken got a three on five. It's not because it's not a fantastic beer, but just because there are some elements that are a little bit lacking. In terms of a taste, in terms of a finish, in terms of a mouthfeel, it's just a little blah, it's a little one-noted, right? If that's a good term to use, I think one-noted is pretty I think, I think that works. The bottle, it has some character, right? It has a little bit more kick to it, I find. For me, it's now I went back and forth a couple of times and I really think that's the difference. Like the, uh, the, 
the bottle has a little bit more pronounced bitterness. The aroma is a little, a little bit more pronounced. So to be honest, uh, if I had to pick between the two, I would probably go with the bottle, honestly. I think it has a little bit more of a pungent uh, finish that uh, brings it up a notch, and I actually enjoy that. This is a historic beer brackets moment. We solved the mystery. We know why they keep bottling it in a green bottle. Everybody asks, why do they have the green bottles? Why is it skunky? Why, why don't we just skunk this in the can? Now we know. We've broken it down, man, and we know it just tastes better. It works. It actually works. That skunkiness, it adds that extra element that just takes it that one step further. It's still really clean. It's still really crisp. It doesn't linger. The finish is really, really nice. It's still a fantastic beer, but it just gives it a little extra kick. It gives it some character. I like a little character. It, it's, you gotta have that in a beer. I think it's, uh, and it's part of its original character. And maybe it's nostalgia, I don't know, because to be fair, the first Heineken's I've had uh, were definitely in a bottle. So again, like Joe was saying, part of probably, you know, your brain connection to uh, that uh, memory, that first memory brings you back to like those flavor maybe a little bit more. Uh, I don't know, but I would definitely say, I mean, having them try them like this back to back, I would go with a bottle. Guys, this is what we do at Beer Brackets. We break down walls, we break down ancient mysteries, and we solve them. We find the solutions that are needed. You've been wondering your entire lives, is it better in a can, is it better in a bottle? We did the hard work, we rolled up our sleeves. The sleeves are literally, literally rolled up at this point. We put our hard hats on, we went to work, and we found out which one it was. Balancing can versus bottle. I'm going with the skunk butt, I'm going with the bottle. Well, and on that note, my friend, we can only say cheers. Cheers, guys. Like, comment, tell us what you think. You like it better in a can, you like it better in a bottle, and why. You not a fan of the skunk butt? You like it better, a little crisper, a little less of an aroma going on? Totally okay, that's your call. Let us know. Don't forget to subscribe, check out our other videos. Check out the link in the description to our Heineken review. You can watch that right now. Don't forget to close the Heineken beer brackets. Can, bottle, can, bottle, can, bottle. You choose. Cheers, guys.